Tough times are forcing individuals to reassess their life and work. If you feel that it's taken a time to awaken your inner power and live the life you deserve, the Empowerment Doctor is here to teach us how. Dr. Stephanie Wilson Coleman joins us now with easy strategies to help form or re transform your life and, and it sounds easy but those first steps are usually the most difficult ones why is that it's the getting started that is so hard for people to do so I suggest that they create like I created an acronym acronym team, team excuse me tends to work for people so the first thing you're gonna start with is where do you have your power that's in the present okay so let's work our life one moment at a time one hour at a time because this point of power right now in the present is all you have yes. you can't undo yesterday right. it's no. done mm -hmm. so figure out what you can do right now today in this moment and do that okay, okay. that's and the p that's mm -hmm. the p what's that's the o overcoming obstacles ah uh, yes uh, <laughs> you've got to evaluate a challenge a lot of people want to do all of their challenges no one challenge that you're having and you're going to create an action plan you're going to write that plan down, and that's what people don't like to do, write it down, and then you're going to follow those steps. Now, when you're in the middle of a plan, know that you're going to get some new information. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change your plan as you go, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Change your plan and keep moving. Okay. W? What's important to you for your life? What do you want in your life? Mm -hmm. And this is a big question. So start by asking yourself, what legacy do you want to leave your family? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next big thing is what do you need to feel successful? Because how you feel about something is very important. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to answer the question, what do you want for your life? Not what others want for you. Yeah. Because there are people sitting in your life right now that need you to stay right where you are so they can feel comfortable. Uh -huh. Send them off to live their life and you start to live your life. That's, that's, that is a big statement too because sometimes you don't even realize that those people are there. Oh, uh, you know they're there. You're just hoping you that so? they'll change. Okay. You think you can do enough to make them change to start to live their life and you cannot. Mm. You are gonna be somebody's example of what can be done. They are watching you really to see what steps they can take so that they can change their life. Mm -hmm. So you're cheating everyone in your circle if you're not living your life. All right, E. Enjoy the journey. Yeah. yeah. Our life and journey consists of every second, minute, and hour we have. We don't get this back. Mm -hmm. So stop living in the past. Enjoy what is happening right now and be grateful for that now because there's a blessing in each moment. Yeah. Okay. And that's tough, especially when you know, we're working parents and you're busy, busy, busy going, 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 sitting in, in it for a minute. It's hard to do. Right. Yeah, but sit in it a minute and just be thankful that you can breathe. That's thankful true. everything's all right. Thankful that your kids are alive. Thankful that your kids are even alive enough for you to have all those little problems you complain oh, about. Oh, that's, that's a good that's one. A good okay. one. Okay. All right. yeah. R. Reflection. As I always say, you've got to reflect. I, I encourage everyone to keep a journal. I want to challenge you to write down three things every day that you're grateful for and do not repeat anything. Okay. Because a gratitude act exercise will help you actually train your brain to find things that you're grateful for and you will be surprised at how many things you will be able to find just by sitting down and writing down three things that you can be grateful for. I want to go back to your O, because okay. obstacles. Because I I feel like sometimes we or other people don't see the obstacles in their way. How do you get to those to find out what's holding you back? Well, the thing is, is you don't get through those. You want to get to one. Okay. Okay. So identify one thing that's not happening in your life the way you want it to happen. Everyone knows what that is. Okay. That's something that they're not honest with other people, but it's, so it's keeping you up at night. It's keeping you from eating. It's keeping you from sleeping. What is that thing right there? Mm. And then decide what you can do right now about it. First, you've got to decide how you want it to look in the end because you've got to have an end goal mm -hmm. but you take it one step at a time and not two and three steps at a time and we were talking about that when you take a journey like that you may not know what each step looks like but if you just take that first step the next will come right the universe will only give you what you can handle a lot of us think we can handle more than we can so we want to know all ten steps <laughs> now you're taking the fun out of the game no take that first step yeah. And then you'll know what the second step is. And then you'll know what the third step is. But you've got to be patient with yourself because it is the journey. Remember, yeah. you live in your life one second, one minute, one hour at a time. So don't miss it trying to figure out what's at 
that 365th step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, especially if you're starting out with one. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, that is a lot. Dr. Steffi, thank you so much for being here. We have your uh, website up there on the screen, ChampagneConnection.com. Uh, some great tips. Really appreciate oh, it. Oh, my goodness. That's right. And, and, and this is just the tip of the right. iceberg. That's right. It's just a tip. Uh, when they go to the website, you can sign in, and then I will give you about a week's worth of things for you to ponder so that you will be able to change your life. I want to thank you guys for having yes, me here. Yes. It was wonderful. Oh, I enjoyed thank you it. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. You're welcome.